guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a haul video. I haven't done a haul video in so, so long. And I figured I would haul some of the stuff I bought because as you know, if you are a VIB Rouge, the VIB Rouge kind of sale coupon thing is going on right now. And even though 15% isn't a lot, it's better than nothing. So I decided to splurge and I want to also apologize because it's been really chaotic lately and I haven't really been able to film as much as I would like because I've been so busy. I'm in school. I just got a new job in an ICU so I've been busy doing training and on the floor there and I did keep the position at my last job. So I'm basically working two jobs, one full time and one like kind of like a part time kind of thing. So I've just been a really crazy busy girl trying to learn and work and be like a hustler, I guess. So I can afford all this makeup. So yeah. So thank you guys so much for um, being understanding and stuff like that. And if you ever want to ask me questions or get in touch with me, please feel free to leave comments down below. I always try to respond to them. I am pretty good at getting back to you guys. And you can also follow me on social media. I have a Twitter, which I never use. So don't even bother. And then I do have a Facebook. My name is Samantha Orth, so you can find me on there. And I also have a, what is it called? Instagram. I have an Instagram, and my name for that is at Sam Benje. So I will like write it right here so you guys can see and you guys could find me and you could communicate with me on those, and I will always get back to you guys. So yeah, let's get started and get right into the video. So most of the stuff I did buy at Sephora, like I said, but I did also buy a couple things at Macy's because I did have a gift card. And um, I'm going to start off with the skincare stuff I bought. The first thing I bought was the new Glam Glow Daily Exfoliating Cleanser. If you watch my channel, you know I absolutely love these cleansers. They are absolutely amazing. I did have... A lot of problems with my skin um, at the end of last year. I was having a lot of breakouts. I don't know what was going on, but my skin was just breaking out very frequently. And when I started to use this, there was such a difference in my skin. And if you watch my channel, you will notice a difference in my skin from then to now. And I have just been using these um, cleansers religiously. I use the one that's in the white packaging during the day, and then I use the hydrating one at night. And when the other one's finished, I'm going to put this into my routine. But I absolutely love these Glam Glow cleansers. They are amazing. And you should definitely try them out. I've said it before in the past. They are pricey, but they are completely worth it because your skin will just show such a big difference. The next thing I bought was from Clinique. This is the All About Eyes. Um, this is the moisturizer for your eyes. I have used so much of this. This is my favorite daytime eye cream. It's got such a nice like silica-esque type feeling on your eyes. And I feel like it's perfect because when you go to apply your makeup, it goes on so smooth and so seamless. And I feel like a lot of that has to do with this because you're you're not tugging at your eyes or anything everything's just gliding on the next big splurge i did was this algenis al aluronic acid micro something oil this is the anti-aging eye cream i got a sample of this from sephora i've gotten several samples from algenis and i always wanted to buy it but when you look at the price you're like because it's just so freaking expensive. So I was like, while I have the 15% off, let me kind of take advantage of it, even though 15% is not a lot on a product like this, but I got this eye cream, and it is giant. In comparison to most eye creams, I will show it to you in comparison to the Clinique one. Like, it's huge in comparison. So I feel like I'll get my money's worth from this. It is pricey. It's not a, like, necessity. I just wanted to spoil myself and buy things that I wouldn't typically buy myself. And this was one of them. I absolutely love the sample. I still have a lot left in the sample, but that is just my backup. And since the price was kind of right, I decided to splurge and get it now. So the next thing I got um, that's not so much skincare, I'm going to jump into the makeup part of this all, is primers. I got this Smashbox primer. This is the Photo Finish Primer Water. I've only used it once, so I really can't give you a definite opinion on it, which is why I don't really love to do hauls because I'm so good for returning stuff if I don't like it. So usually some of the stuff I don't even end up using or I don't liking, so I hate hauling them because you guys might buy it and then it's like a waste. But 
So far, I haven't really noticed too much of a difference. I did only use it one time. It didn't feel like tacky or anything to me. It felt really nice on the skin, but I will use it some more and give you guys a better opinion of what I think about this product. But so far, it's okay. The next item I got was this Urban Decay Brightening and Tightening Complexion Primer Potion. This I actually bought at Ulta because these were $15 and they're typically $30. So I was like... Hey, let me just go get two for the price of one. I've always wanted to try them, but I feel like $30 is kind of expensive. So I got this one, and I also got the Pore Perfecting Complexion Primer. So both of these together equated to the price of just one. So if you do have an Ulta near you, I would definitely jump on it, especially if you're in the market for a primer and you want one that's not too pricey because even the NYX ones are like $10. So you're only going to spend an extra $5. So it's completely worth it. And you get a lot of product. There is 20 mLs, which is like one fluid ounce. So it's a lot. The next three items I got were um, from Marc Jacobs. These are the lip liners that they recently came out with. I have been on a, a lip liner binge thanks to one of my Instagram um, followers. She has totally got me hooked on lip liners. I was never a lip liner girl and I am slowly becoming obsessed with lip liners because she was so right. She told me that they make all the difference and I have noticed that like they totally change the vibe of your lipstick on your lips. So. I decided to try these three. There was only three that I saw. One is like a nude color and this is in the color nudist. And it looks like this on the skin, on my skin. Very nude. Nothing too drastic, but I feel like it'll pair well with a lot of like more fair um, lipsticks that I have. The next one I got is called Honey Bun and this is like a more baby pink. Kind of color and they're very pigmented and that's a lot of a lot of the reason why I bought them and then the next one I got is called primrose and this is like such a Sam color because it's mauve and you know I just love a mauve lip So yeah, I'm notorious for mauve, so I thought that this one was perfect for me, and all three of them look really nice, and they swatch really well. I don't know about the staying power, but so far they seem okay. I've only really... <sighs> These pooches. As far as the stay power, I'm really not too sure. I really did just start to use one of them, so when I get a better idea, I will let you know. I think they range for about $28, and they seem pretty okay. I mean, they kind of rubbed off a little bit, but all in all, they're pretty okay. The next lip liner that I got was from MAC and this is in the color Whirl. This was just something I have been wanting but I just never have got and this is such a same color. Like I don't know why I never got this before because it's a mauve type tone. So I'm excited about this and everybody knows about the craze behind this lip liner because of Kendall Jenner. So yeah, I want to give this a try and be like a follower. <laughs> the next thing I got was the Laura Mercier face illuminator in indiscretion I had seen this on the Sephora website and I was gonna get it but then I was like no let me wait because they're gonna have the VIB rouge sale so knowing that the VIB rouge sale was coming along I was like let me not get it because I'm so good for just like impulse buying and I waited and of course because I waited they no longer had it available online I started freaking out because I was like I just could kick myself I don't believe I you know passed that up and now it's no longer available and I went into Sephora and I asked them they're like no we don't have it they're like you should have went with your first instinct I'm like thanks guys thanks but then I went back for the VIP Rouge sale and look what was there this guy right here so I was so excited I really wanted to try it it looks like such a beautiful beautiful highlight and I'm really eager to slap this baby on my face but so far I haven't used it yet but I will swatch it for you guys oh it's so pretty and it feels so smooth oh yeah my highlights about to be on and popping girl yes excited so the next thing I got was from makeup forever and a lot of people have been talking about these and it is the Sculptor Visible in Imperceptible Undetectable Face Contour. Jesus, what a mouthful. But I got it in the darker shade. 
and I haven't really used the bronzers too much because I have heard that it's very orange. Even when I bought it at Sephora, the guy was like, it's a little orange, but I really wanted to get it for this highlight. I don't have um, Max Whisper of Guilt, and they say that this is what it's like. I do have Estee Lauder's Heat Wave, and I love it. So I want to give this a try, even though I have the Heat Wave color. Maybe it will be something different. But so far, so good. I've used it twice. So... I'm still on the fence about this one. I need to use a little bit more to get a little bit of a better opinion. The next item I got that was also a highlight is from NARS. This is in the Dual Intensity Blush. But I looked at all of the blushes they had available and this is the one that appealed most to me. They had two other ones that I did like but this one was like yes. I will definitely get my money's worth out of this. And that's because it is a highlight. It's not a blush at all. You have a more tan like this one has more pink undertones in it and this one has more gold undertones in it and I feel like this is such a great on the go packing your bag travel um, highlight to have because it is just so beautiful and it's got such great pigment I'm actually wearing it on my cheeks today and you could see how luminous it is just kind of you know from the little side thing I showed you and I wore this color and I haven't used this color yet but this one has been really nice and it's so pigmented I love it so this is definitely something that you should get if you have the VIB Rouge sale little discount going on. The next item I got for the face was from Laura Mercier and this is the Matte Translucent Powder. And I currently use the one from NARS for, it's in my purse all the time. That's what I use to like touch up my makeup and dab when I feel very oily. And I felt this one and I got it because I was like, oh this feels really good. It's a different texture and it just applied so nicely. And I feel like this is the type of powder that you could put on your face with no makeup. And it will just make your skin look kind of even if you get what I'm kind of trying to say. But I really loved it and I'm really looking forward to using this. I'm just waiting for my NARS one to run out. But I do love the NARS one as well. But I want to just switch it up a little bit and try something new. And the really cool thing about this is it has a mirror in it. I think the NARS one does too. Um, it's even bigger now that I think about it. So yeah. Moving on from that. I'm going to go into lip products. So the lip products that I got were just ones that I've been wanting, I've been eyeing, but I didn't want to splurge or they didn't have it available and this time they did. Thank you Jesus. So the first of which I got was from Kat Von D and it is in Vampira. I have wanted this for so long. It is a um, liquid lipstick and it dries to a matte finish and oh, it's just such a beautiful deep crimson red and this color is just giving me so much life. I love it so much. And I love her liquid lipsticks. I think she has really great products. And I wish she had a little bit better of a range of colors. But I love the Lolita and I love the Vampira. So I was so excited when they had it because I would buy this on a normal day. And they never have had it. And go figure that when I go for the sale, it was just chilling waiting for me. Like, Sam, come get me, girl. Come get me. And I was like, yes. I get so excited over makeup. Oh, it's a sickness. But yeah, I'm so excited to try this baby out. It looks so beautiful. And I feel like this will look good on every skin tone, whether you're pale, whether you're medium, whether you're dark. This is just such a good cult favorite, in my opinion. Next color I got, this one was from Too Faced. This is the Melted Lipsticks, and this is in the new colors. And this one is in Melted Jelly Donut. And this is such, like, a really cute fuchsia pink. And I haven't used it yet, so you guys are getting the first real deal swatch of it and it's just such a vivacious pink but I love it it's beautiful I feel like this is just such a great girly color if you wear this with a completely neutral eye a very matte eye and just easy on the cheeks this will be beautiful and it will be that pop of color and this is great for springtime and I love the formula on these they're really great products the next melted lipstick I got was in the color melted chihuahua and this one is what I have on my lips right now. And this one is just like your typical mauve -y tone. And I was really excited for this one because when I saw someone swatch it, I was like, oh, that's such a great color. This is something I would totally gravitate towards. It's something you could wear every single day. And you will definitely like finish this tube up because it's so easy. The only thing I will say about this, I have been wearing it all day. So I kind of have a good um, idea of what it's like. I feel like with these things, the brighter the color, the longer it stays, I guess because it has more pigment to it. But when it's a more neutral color, it kind of wears. So this is something that you're going to constantly having to reapply. 
because it does wear fairly easy like if you eat it's gonna come off if you do anything it's gonna come off so just something to be mindful of but the color in itself is absolutely beautiful and it dries to like a satin semi gloss finish the next one I got also from the Too Faced Melted collection was the color Melted Villain. Oh, mwahahahaha. So I, I got this one because it was so different. I loved it. And sometimes you just want something a little bit on the edge where you're feeling really edgy and you want to try something different. And I thought this was it because I do have Max Cyber and I wore it. And believe it or not, I didn't look like I didn't look like a serial killer in it. But I was like, let me try this one because it looks like such a deep purple I love it oh even like putting it on right now I'm loving it it's so different I feel so edgy with this but look at how beautiful that is I love it, it looks so good I cannot wait to wear it I haven't decided what in my head I want to pair it with but I feel like it's gonna be really good when I wear it. but yeah this is such a beautiful color I'm loving it as you can see from me swatching it it's just a very deep very deep purple and it's got like some pink undertones in it as well and I'm really excited and I will definitely snap a picture of that bad boy and post it on Instagram when I do decide to wear it. So the next liquid lipstick I got, this one was actually a gift from my friend Ashney and it is the Stilla Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick and this is in the color F Fiery Fury and this is just a typical red it's really beautiful. I love the color. When I wore this one day, I wore it to orientation for work. I'm so bold. And the girl, this girl stopped me. She's like, oh my god, what is on your lips? I love that red. She's like, I've seen so many different reds, but this is like the most perfect red. So this is really nice. I like the formula. The only thing negative I have to say is that this wears on the inside of your lips, like the inner portion. So when you reapply it, be very careful. Put a very thin layer because it does get really cakey. And it kind of gets that like gritty feeling on your lips like you have a lot of product in. That's something I don't really love about it. But I do like it overall. The color is unbelievable. And... I feel like most people will be happy. Just be very mindful when you apply it and just be very careful of how you apply it because it is a little bit hard to work with the wand so it's easy to get it like all over the place basically. So just a little bit to be cautious of when you use this product. The next two lip products I got were from Bite Beauty. These are from the new line, the Cut, I don't know what they're called, like something cut. Mm -hmm. but. I got these two. The first one I got was in the color Pecan. And I don't really know what's so special about them. They're very moisturizing. I'm kind of on the fence about these because they were $28. That's a lot of freaking money. I don't know why I bought it. I was just feeling myself. And um, they're supposed to, you know, lock in a lot of moisture and be very moisturizing. So this color Pecan is your typical mauve tone that I love. I can't wait to see how they wear. They're very, very moisturizing and they give you like a shiny finish, but they're not too shiny. They're like, um, like kind of like a gloss, but meets lipstick. So I'm liking this color a lot. And when I wear it, I will definitely let you guys know if it's worth the splurge or not. So that was in the color Pecan and the next one is in the color Rosewood. And this one is also like a mauve, but this one's deeper. The other one's a little bit more pinky and... Oh, this is so pretty. And that's them together. Very pigmented. Like, one little swatch goes a very long way. So, I'm really excited to use them and see how they work out for me. So, look at all those lippies. I'm so proud of myself. Usually, I buy, like, a ton of eyeshadows and stuff. So, moving on from those, I'm going to go into concealers. I bought two concealers. The first of which is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. I want to try this. I do have the Amazonian clay one and that one's a little bit thick and this one is too but a little does go a long way very pigmented it will definitely cover the areas that you need to be covered it's going to be like bam in your face coverage you'll definitely get everything you need to be covered i got it in the color tan but be very mindful with this it is it does crease even though it says creaseless it's a lie you have to set this right away or else it will settle into fine lines because i have fine lines and i know girl i know and i don't like to be creasy so be careful with this. I like to use it with a beauty blender and just, you know, apply Ben Nye's banana powder after with a beauty blender as well. 
The next concealer I got was from Urban Decay and is the 24-7 concealer pencil. And this one is really different because it's like a pencil, like stick formation instead of liquid. I tend to like the liquid ones because I feel like they are the best for creasing. Um, but this one I think will be good for brows or if you want to use it underneath your eyes. I don't really have too much of a problem with creasing and it blends out really nicely. So I think this one's a good one and it's very easy to use and it's very blendable as well. So this one has been good and I'm in the color KGB. If that's a color. So yeah, moving on from that, I got the... Benefit Roller Lash. This is the business. I had a sample of this baby and I loved it. So when I had the sale, I was like, let me get the big one just to have as a backup. But this is a really good, really good mascara, especially if you don't like to wear false lashes like this girl. You will definitely get good use out of it because it makes your eyelashes so full and does make them feel, you don't feel like you have so much product on or like spider lashes. It's really, really good. So moving on from this one, I'm going to talk about foundations. I went a little cray cray on the foundations, but I can splurge. I deserve it sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I, it's just a little excessive. But this time, I was like, you work your butt off, see, you deserve it. So I got the Giorgio Armani Maestro Fusion Makeup. This foundation is beautiful on the skin. I am in the color... I got the color 7, but I'm really not the color 7. This is just a little bit light for me when I applied it on my skin. It was just like a shade lighter than what I needed, but as soon as I set it with the powder, it was fine. So what I did was I went to Sephora. They didn't have anything. They had either 7 or 11. Like, what a... Like, where's the medium there? None. So I went online, and Sephora.com had more colors. So I got it in the color 8. I'm hoping that that works for me because I did have to order it online and if not I'll have to order nine but we'll see but this goes on so nicely this is a no makeup makeup foundation this is going to give you a very sheer coverage it's not going to be heavy it's very lightweight your skin will definitely peek through so if you have any blemishes and stuff like that this is not going to cover it. it's just going to even out your skin tone this is really great for the summer months because you're not going to look cakey or like you have a ton of product on your face i love it so much and it feels so lightweight on the skin so i did really like that and I just have been enjoying it. I wore it one day and I loved it. And I got so many compliments on my skin, believe it or not. And I think it's because it's like such a natural, like your skin from within kind of foundation. So definitely pick this baby up because so far I love it. The next foundation I got was from Cover FX. And this is like the kind of same deal as my Yester. It's like that droppy, liquidy kind of formula. And this is what I'm wearing today. This is in the color N60. And this foundation, I put like dots all over my face. And I just like basically like, you know, evenly distributed dots on my face to cover it, all the areas. And I use my beauty blender to apply it. And I was very shocked because it is so pigmented like a little goes a long way I was like damn girl you overdid it this time so I was like I look a little cakey today I'm not gonna lie but a little of this baby goes a long way I didn't read any instructions on it I just kind of went with the flow but it is really nice it's full coverage it doesn't make me like I feel like my oil peeked through I just blotted before I filmed this video and I applied this at 8 o'clock and it's now 4 so it's got pretty good um wear as far as um you know if you're oily so again, this has been really nice so far. I like it, but be careful, girl, because you will look cookie real quick, real quick. The next foundation I got was from Dior. I was just doing the most, guys, doing the most. And I got the Nude Air. And I think I just have been like on a splurge this time. Every foundation that I got was one of these like kind of like squeezy liquidy foundations and I use this I try I put this on my skin at the store and it felt really nice this reminds me a lot of that Giorgio Armani one I haven't used it yet but I do love Dior's products I love Chanel's products but like really who has money to buy this all the time only Bill Gates or Donald Trump or someone who's got more money than me but 
I'm really looking forward to using this baby. I bought this with my gift card at Macy's and I'm in the color 040 and when I use it I will let you guys know but this is just such a nice luxurious item to have in your collection. I hope I like it just because it's fancy. You just want to feel fancy sometimes. So yeah, that was my next big splurge next to the George Jeremiah. And when I got my total, I was like, Kh. I was like, just, just don't tell me the total. Slides credit card. It's bad, real bad. So I got <laughs> the Too Faced selfie powders. I don't know why I really got this. I just got it because it looks interesting. I will read more about it. Okay. So, it's got three shades in it. It just looked cool. I think the purple is what really drew me in. I don't know if it will really do anything for my skin tone. But, it's got that cool, like, banana shade, which I love. Banana shades do really well for me. And it says that it brightens, diffuses warmth. And then, this one is called Totally Toasted. And this one bronzes, smoothing glow. And then, Moon River, which is the purple, is the cool, ethereal light. Whatever that means. I'm just curious to use it. I will read more into it and see what I should do with the purple. Because I'm, I don't know. It just looks different. I mean, maybe it's too color correct. We'll see. But it looks really cool. So yeah, um, this I don't really know too much about. I'm really curious about it. But, I don't know. It's supposed to like filter your face. I don't know. It's weird. But, I'm curious. It drew me in. And the last item, thank you Jesus, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit. I got it in the medium shade because these are colors that look like they will work for me. And uh, when I swatched them in Macy's, they felt very thick. Um, I'm really curious to work with them. I hope I like them. They feel a little thick, I must admit, but we'll see how they apply on the skin. So yeah. This has been really exciting. This I've been looking forward to. I almost bought it when it launched, but then I was like, no, let me wait. And, you know, sometimes I don't want to, like, jump on, like, bandwagon things because everybody will talk about it. But when you get the product, you're like, this sucks. So, yeah, I'm going to use this, and I will give you guys my opinion of it. And depending on if I like it or not, I will return it. So, yeah. So this pretty much completes my haul. I got so much stuff. And it's crazy. This is so much stuff. But, you know, I only do this every never. So I wanted to do it now and I want to share it with you guys. I will keep you guys posted on the items I like or items I don't like and sent back. Um, and, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.